Greetings and salutations. Welcome back to Gamer Guide Channel. I am Rollin, and today we're going to be playing some rocket based builds here uh, as a celebration for hitting level 25. I thought I'd just mess around with the pro mail count, mess around with the uh, main account I have, and put together some interesting builds using either pyro launchers or uh, using hurricane launchers. So, first, I'll start with this one. Uh, this is what I'm going to guess I'm going to call the Ant. I didn't really have it named, but uh, it's like a giant tree sculpture there with my uh, scope on top. It looks ridiculous, but the idea is uh, to have a little bit more range and be able to launch missiles straight up in the air and have them come down on someone's head at, at a long range. So I have two radars on this guy, and then that scope on top will let me really lob missiles at uh, distance. Now, of course, the weakness here of the Ant is that uh, you don't want anybody right up on you, so the shotgun builds would be murder. For this uh, build here, but uh, I do have one mini gun to try to defend myself a little bit. So if those annoying bots come over, you know Ryan or Emma or one of those guys, I'll be able to definitely take them out. Uh, but otherwise, I'd probably better be moving um, and putting a little distance between me and the people I'm hitting. So this isn't great for every level. Probably not the best for this level, honestly. But uh, it's what we got, so we're gonna see if we can make it work. All right, we're launching a couple of missiles over there, and I don't think we hit anybody. I think that just hit the church on the other side. Here we go. Let's see if uh, the dead ringer can get dead a little bit. Nice. All right. Almost uh, 900 damage there. Pretty close to it, looks like. That was a, not a bad shot to start with. All right. Here we go. Get the clicker. It's about to get turned off. And he's, he's launching back at me, but let me hide behind the, the wall here. This will work. We'll come back. Pop back out real quick. Pride Crusher, I've played with him a couple times. Fortunately, he's on the wrong team this time. We'll see if we can uh, use our mini gun effectively here a little bit. And, oh man, they just took him out right before my missiles get, get there, but that's about the right arc. I can be probably about here to my target, and uh, those missiles will still hit, but uh, probably any closer than that, I'm gonna have a problem. So uh, this is definitely very niche, uh, but it is a lot of fun. I stuck uh, some of the double tires in the back, just kind of uh, increase the weight capacity a little bit. And then the racing tires also have a pretty good weight capacity. So I was able to get a pretty good amount of armor on here, a lot of Nomad stuff. But because of weight, I pretty much had to stay away from all the scavengers and uh, Steppenwolf's uh, armor for the most part. Uh, in the middle there, that's just kind of like, uh, what, what do they call those, those grates? And then left and right, uh, those kind of trim pieces to make the little tree shape. Uh, and I just wanted it all to be stuck together in case somebody shoots part of my tower down. As long as one of those three columns is still attached, it should uh, remain standing. At least that's the idea. Anyway, so we did okay. I didn't expect great things really from that build, but it was fun. I'll probably play that one again sometime. So this is what I call the Army Ant. It's uh, using four of the Pyro Launchers and uh, uses one of the Thunderbolt shotguns on top. This is kind of a backup. Really, if you're close enough to your enemy to be using your Thunderbolt shotgun on this build, you're probably doing it wrong, but uh, it's just in case, because sometimes you gotta push in or somebody is uh, you know, taking someone out and you might have an opportunity to strip a weapon or something. So I said, well, okay, I got four energy left. Let's just go ahead and throw one of them on. Now, I don't have any coolers on this thing, so that's kind of the downside of this build. It takes a while to uh, recover your shotgun, but I pretty much just want to use it as a quick like pass-by weapon. Hit him with the charge and then move on, sort of like this, and then be out of there, you know? Alright, let's see, Claudia, one down for the enemy team, one bot removed. Let's see if we can do some good with these missile launchers. Now this thing is super lightweight, so if I take a big cannon shot, I could possibly die instantly, because I have two of the ammo barrels, like, concealed in the backside, but pretty much right behind that radar there, I have uh, two of the purple ammo containers. So it's a ton of missiles, which is great for uh, missions like this, and it gives you lots of opportunities to be liberal and fire. There we go. One down. I don't think I got yeah, I didn't get credit on that one, darn it. Uh, but yeah, it gives you a little more opportunity to be liberal with it, but it also makes you a lot squishier. Let's head back this way real quick so we can defend our base. We got a nice little hit on that guy. Come around here, and now we can use our shotgun. There we go. Okay, I got him real quick. Looks like we had somebody coming around the corner too. Better watch out. We'll head the other direction. And go around and see if we can uh, reload our missile, our second missile, real quick. There we go. We got both up. There we go. Let's toss them both out. Oh man, that damage was not that great. Hopefully, it did more than 150. That's about all I, I saw there. You look ugly. Well, you look dead. You look dead. That's what you look like. Uh, animal mother. <laughs> 
Uh, let's see if I can strip his guns out. I don't think he saw me there for a second, or maybe he thought I was the one that exploded. Let's get around here. Nice, we got the victory. Sweet. Yeah, so this is a fun build, the Army Ant. And uh, I just I called it the Army Ant because it kind of looks like it's got a thorax on the back. Uh, but it's a little light, and I'm not quite uh, used to it. It is kind of like a fun, more challenging mode than playing some of the heavy stuff I normally do. All right, moving on. You guys have actually seen this one before. I'm taking back out the uh, Raven War. I repainted it a little bit, uh, but this has been one of my favorite builds. There's two of the miniguns, and then it has three pyro launchers tucked away on the opposite side of this vehicle. Um, I went with a grid paint on this. I think the grid looks pretty nice. I don't know what you guys think about that. Uh, and then I did chrome trim for it, too. Make it look a little less flashy than before. I don't know if that's going to help me survive any better. But, uh, yeah, definitely one of my favorite vehicles. And this is on the Gamer Guide account, so a lot of these things I'm not able to post up because on the uh, press account I have, they don't allow me to sell parts on the market uh, or go to the shop and stuff like that. I guess they figure, like, they're giving me a bunch of free stuff, and, they don't, and there's a lot of other YouTubers who get it, too. They just don't want to ruin the economy uh, and, you know, by putting all the parts out there. I guess that's their reasoning. I'm not really sure. Because honestly, my, my Ronald account right now is looking pretty nice. I have some legendary weapons and stuff, which I don't have on the press account. Um, so anyway, it's kind of interesting because I think eventually my uh, regular account is going to overtake what I can do on the press account. But it's still kind of fun. A little creative freedom here. And I also have max uh, parts uh, and max storage too on this. The only thing I don't have max is I don't have max like car spots. It would be awesome if the press account I could get more than four slots, but I'd have to craft them all. And since I can't use the market, it could possibly take a really long time to do that. Anyway, enough about that. We're doing pretty good uh, so far. I pretty much feel like I'm just assisting getting everybody with missiles here. All right, we got a guy over here being all sneaky-like. Being all sneaky, he's hiding out. All right, let's 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 come over the ridge and we'll send him a greeting card. All right, go Bullet Bill is going to visit your windshield. Let me get that get out of here. I think that, that'd make him happy. All right, these other two guys are jumping in though, thank goodness. I'm kind of uh, used now to uh, keeping my distance with these little missile builds though. This is more of a uh, Nomad's vehicle, so it's not quite as squishy as the last two I was playing, which were both based on the Lunatic chassis. Alright, get him a couple times, pop him a little bit with that, and let's see, can I get him with those? Yeah, not a whole lot of damage though, only 80 something damage, so must have just been splash damage again. It's kind of hard to get direct hits, I think these could, I don't know, I mean maybe if they tuned him up and made him a little bit more accurate, people wouldn't like that. Oh, back with the uh, instant death fuse drones. Fortunately, they're on our team this time, but I still think they could probably be tuned down a little bit. That's the one weapon of the new weapon that I think is super OP. The other stuff seems like reasonably, reasonably good. Not so uh, so good that people are going to go and cry, but uh, the fuse drones are, are about that good. You can just hit at the starting line and launch them off. Oh, we got one guy on the far side here. Die, Dave! Ah, oh, another splash damage hit. Only like 40, 40 damage. We've taken a little bit of damage here, but this thing does pretty well. I mean, uh, it's pretty tough, considering it's using pretty much all of the Nomad's armor. All right, looks like the Fuse Drones got him. And uh, we got our uh, victory. So let's move on to our last and final build. Call this thing the Eight-Eyed Buggy, because I throw the Hurricane Launcher, and this is back on the Rollin account too, by the way, uh, on this guy. And then I'm using a uh, special gun too. This is one I crafted. It's the uh, AC-43 Rapier, but it's explosive, so it has extra damage. Basically, if you combine three like weapons together, you have a chance of getting a buff, and the one I ended up getting uh, increases damage by like 5%, so it gives me an extra little half segment on my damage bar, which I think is super cool. Uh, probably the one I would have wanted, but there's some other buffs too you can get. You can get one like with a little quicker turning speed or no recoil, though the recoil on these little rapiers aren't real bad anyway. So I think I lucked out getting the one with the explosive damage for sure. Then I'm using that Teutonic paint on this guy too, just something different. I like the eagle look. All right, let's see, we gotta surprise some people here. I'm gonna throw a couple missiles down here. And I'm not sure if that hit, any, hit anything, I wasn't really looking in the right spot. We got a couple bots on this side. Let's just scale around the, the hill here for some more cover in case they creep up on me. Looks like someone's there, but I wasn't locked. Should have just chilled out a little bit there and not jump to uh, firing those missiles off right away. All right, we got Emma. Let's take her out real quick and get a lock on her. There we go. One bot down. 
At least I got credit on that kill. So we got Ryan over here. I'll hit him a couple times with the uh, explosive rapier. Does pretty good damage. I mean, that 42 is like getting hit with the splash damage on the missiles in some cases, so not terrible. Let's lob a couple this way. Just missed me, and I got him once. 200 damage. One of the missiles landed. I'm happy about that. One thing I noticed is that I think three of the pyro launchers are actually a little bit better than three of the hurricanes. Just looking at the damage on the bar that they show off for the same six CPU. And of course, you have to lay it over a larger space with the three pyro launchers and be more creative about it, but I was thinking about that. So it's probably better to have three pyres than to have one hurricane, unless you just want something compact. Because this shoots eight missiles and everything, but the the bar, uh, if it's just 100% and it doesn't give you more than that, uh, wouldn't be as much because you're not getting a full bar on a pyre launcher, but when you mold, add them all together, it's it's over a full bar. It's like a bar and a half almost of damage. All right, so that guy's hiding out. Let's see, we got any reinforcements? We got one guy behind us here. He's trying to machine gun me. I'm going to try not to let him get that close to me. Let's hit his fund real quick. Take Berserk out, hopefully, or at least do pretty good damage to him. Disable him. Yeah, we got one ally up here, and we guess two more somewhere else on the map. I'm going to back off a little bit. This guy's obviously coming for me. He's sick of the missiles. Looks like somebody took his wheel out, though, or he turned. I guess he changed his mind. That wasn't such a, <laughs> that wasn't such a good idea, he decided, coming straight on through the uh, ally lines here. And let's see if we can finish this guy off with the gun. Nice. Final victory. Not bad. Well, I think I'm going to have to wrap it up here now for this episode. I probably will be doing another cross-out episode this week. In fact, I've already kind of got some of the clips together for it, so it probably won't be long until that one's done. But uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Definitely thumbs up the video, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in my uh, very next episode. Later!